All right, well, here we are. We're at the 2012 Business Expo for the Frederick County Chamber of Commerce. It is the 17th annual Business Expo. This is the largest event of the year for the Chamber, and it's also the largest business trade show of the year here in Frederick County. 140 exhibitors and more. We're going to talk to a lot of folks today. There's seminars going on. Of course, we have the taste of the Expo, so it's time now to uh, get on in here and check out this 2012 Business Expo. All right, we're here with the uh, president of the Chamber of Commerce here in Frederick County, Mr. Rick Adams, and uh, everybody has been very complimentary on the space this year. Things are looking very swanky. Everybody's happy. Your impression so far? Uh, fabulous. We're thrilled to death. We have 151 exhibitors, great space. We have a wonderful crowd of people. We have students coming, business students showing up today. 12 o'clock, we're going to have a fashion show. We have taste of breakfast, lunch, 3 o'clock. We're having hors d'oeuvres, beer and wine. What's not the love? Oh, it's great. I mean, we keep bumping into people who we've talked to before, and, you know, they see us and they remember, oh, I need a website, or, oh, I need uh, I need the marketing that you guys can offer. And um, it's a great way to maintain relationships with people who you've met around town, but you don't necessarily, um, you know, see every day. It's the best thing I've ever done for my business. It's given me the jump start I need. Um, we're already pretty much where we should have, probably normally would have been in about three years. And a lot of it has to do with joining the chamber and the connections I'm making. It's wonderful. It's very crucial to have an appeal like when you're walking by all these booths today. You guys obviously have a great setup. Uh, any tips for folks that are kind of putting their setup together uh, every year? I'm very big on making sure you have something interactive, which is why we have our prize wheel. Right. People like something to do that will help break the ice so they don't feel that there's yeah. a big commitment to talk to you. Okay. Is this is this awkward? Is this a commitment right here? <laughs> <laughs> if you guys could describe the uh, expo in one word, what would it be? Massive. Energy. Massive energy. It sounds dangerous. <laughs> Why is it so important for um, nonprofits to be in an event like this? Um, I think sometimes nonprofits kind of get overlooked by um, all the bigger businesses. Mm -hmm. um, so it's great for us to be out here along with everybody else, um, getting the word out, out about our organization as well, of all the great things that we do for the community. Okay. Well, you've been a part of the community for so long. What is it about Frederick that makes it so great? Frederick is blessed uh, with a great location. We know that being so close to our nation's capital in Baltimore. And uh, But the people that do business in Frederick, it's really a, a big town with a small town flavor or a small town with big ideas. And I think as we see the community grow like it has in the 32 years that we've been in business here, we couldn't have picked a better spot. I should say my father, Pete Sr., couldn't have picked a better spot in 1980 to open his first Roy Rogers restaurant. Uh, it looks like in the future with the growth that we've seen uh, in Fort Detrick and Bechtel and other companies that uh, understand that this is a great place to live and to work. Yeah. All right. Well, it's been another very exciting year. The 17th Annual Business Expo. Rick, what do you think? Next year, bigger and better? Bigger and better. Cheers to a phenomenal event. We've had a tremendous crowd, 150 exhibitors. Everyone's had a great time. Cheers to next year. Cheers to this year. Thank you guys for being part of it. Absolutely. Chamber TV signing off for Virginia Kane. I'm Sean Morrissey. See you next year. Cheers.